Hey guys, what is up? It's PVM Ebenex here, and today I'm going to bring you guys a guide on the new layer, the Grotworm layer. Uh, this layer was released with the uh, release of the new quest today, Songs from the Deep, or Songs from the Depth. Um, as you can see, it is right here, Song from the Depths. It is a fairly easy quest, um, except for a puzzle, which if you guys don't know how to do the plant puzzle, I'll link you to it in the description. Uh, it is a fairly easy quest. It's a fun quest. I think they did a great job with the quest. And they also brought in some cool new monster. Well, one new monster, three uh, combat levels of it. Combat level 10, combat level 90 something, and combat level 167, I believe. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get to the lair and uh, kill the level 167s. Um, in a newbier way, I guess you could say. Um, so, definitely, uh, no matter what you're killing, use the best melee gear you can. Uh, some of you may not be melee, you may be ranged. These things have two attacks. They have a melee attack when you are meleeing or standing right next to them in a square next to them, or they have a very a high powered magic attack from long distance, uh, the higher level guys do. Um, the lower level ones may as well, but the higher level ones hit very hard, um, especially if you're in melee gear. Uh, even if you are ranging, I suggest that you uh, probably stand right next to it. Um, its melee may hit hard as well. You have the choice to use prayer pots if you want and pray melee or pray mage. Um, but I'm going to use shark and a beast of burden with more shark in it instead. Uh, I'm also bringing a super set and a quick banking method, which is the runa kinship. Alright guys, um, for my gear, I'm using a whip. I believe they are probably weak to range attacks. Um, with that new bow. Uh, however, it hasn't been updated yet, so maybe once it's upgraded by uh, the next week, it may be a lot more powerful towards these guys. Um, I also believe they are weak against stab. Unfortunately, I lost my chaotic rapier um, a while ago, and I just haven't felt like getting back. So I'm using a whip. I'm also using full varics, which I can use bandos, and I'm probably gonna end up using bandos. I'm just in pretty much my main frost dragon ge uh, gear right now, except for the whip. Um, so yeah, guys, I suggest full bandos, just basically the best armor you can wear. So uh, how to get there? At the end of the quest, you get Remora's necklace. You can use that to teleport. Unfortunately, you can only use it once a day. So uh, we're gonna do this method instead. You can either uh, teleport to the house in Remington and walk to the east, or you can go to Port Serum. Uh, using the lodestone network and go northwest, uh, which is the option I'm choosing to use. If you have 50 agility, you are going to be able to get to the level 167s a lot faster. Uh, so once you get at the lodestone here, um, you're going to want to run northwest, as I'm about to show you. Um, once again, I think this was a very good, uh, a very nice quest. Good change of pace. You'll see the white knights here. Um, just kind of want to go down into the cave entrance. And run down these stairs. Uh, first, here I'll pull up the mini map for you guys. You're gonna see the Grotworm Lair. First level. These levels are huge, and it takes a while to walk all the way across. Uh, no agility shortcuts to the second level where the level 90s are. So right here, you're gonna see the level. Uh, here I'll mark it for you guys. Right here, you're gonna see the level 10s. Uh, down here, you're gonna see the level 90 somethings. And down here you are going to see the level, the higher level monsters as well as in this area here. Um, there's the agility shortcut, 50 agility, and it starts right here. So I'm going to go in the agility shortcut because uh, that's where I want to show you guys where to kill uh, is the higher level grot worms. As you can see, there's a little guy right here, a young grot worm. And uh, their drops are nowhere near as nice as, I'll take some coral, bo coral boats, bolts. Oh, nice, 20. Um, so we're going to go through this agility shortcut over here, slide down, and as you can see there is a large, uh, mature grot worm right here, level 167. Um, they are, like I said, I believe weak to stab attacks, but even my slash can do some decent damage against them. So you're going to pot, um, just drink your supers or your extremes or your overloads, whatever you want to do. Um, and as you can see, I'm doing a decent amount of damage, but they will eventually start doing a nice amount of damage to me as well, because there are times where they will hit hard. Um, this morning, this was packed. Now it seems to have cleared out quite a bit. Um, it's just, I think their drops are pretty damn good, actually. I don't know why more people aren't here. 
Um, but we're going to kill him quick, and we're going to go get another one right away, because the competition might be... Eh, there's three guys here right now. Not too bad. Uh, as you can see, he hit me with a mage attack there. I got lucky it wasn't too high of a hit. And he dropped coins over there, so we'll get to see how many coins I got um, and just after this kill here. So as you guys can see, these do drop rune items. I just got a rune helm. Um, probably only about 9k, I believe. Uh, yeah, 11k. And over here, we have some coins that have dropped. Oh, shit. Wrong thing. Oh, and there's one of the mage attacks. As you can see, it hits with mage almost every time. So it was a 2k coin drop. Um, not too much, but definitely worth picking up. Um, it makes up for the price of probably four sharks, uh, which is very nice. Um, so I'm going to kill more. I'm going to kill quite a few of them, actually. And uh, I'll get back to you guys and see what my drops are like. Hey guys, so I have been killing these for roughly 10 minutes, actually only about 9 minutes. I have made 98k in items and 4k in coins. Um, I would definitely suggest a Rin of Wealth, um, because I was here before without one and the drops were nowhere near this good. So for sure bring a Rin of Wealth, guys. Um, also, I'm going to give you some levels now of what I think you need to be uh, efficient enough to kill these at a good rate. Um, there's this magic attack again, as you can see. Um, I would suggest that probably 115 plus combat to kill these scenes efficiently and make a decent profit. I would probably also suggest at least 52 summoning for a spirit terror bird. I believe spirit terror birds are uh, 52 summoning uh, because a beast of burden or a healer such as the bunny up, uh, which I could also use, will help a lot. I just prefer to use shark. Um, they're not really that expensive anymore. They're only 500 GP each, and I've already well made up for them um, in just 10 minutes. Um, as you can see, it can hit hard with melee. Um, also, guys, uh, definitely your best gear possible. I would suggest a rapier, bandos, a dragon uh, defender, um, dragon boots or steadfast boots, uh, goliath gloves or councilman's gloves, 10, and a skill cape or fire cape. Now, even for me, these are nowhere near as efficient as they um, could be. Uh, if I just took a few days, uh, when I got my chaotic rapier back, I'm at 85k points. That would be a huge, wow, nice. That would be a huge help. Um, also, I could go get a fire cape. I could go buy bandos. I could go get a dragon defender. Uh, I could do all that within probably three or four days. Um, obviously, I didn't want to make wait that long to make this video. But if I got all that within three or four days, my efficiency would be a lot higher, and I'd probably see even greater profit than 100k every 10 minutes, which is what I got right now and I don't know what he's talking about um, but anyway definitely use the best gear possible guys um so yeah uh, I'm gonna kill these for about an hour and I'm gonna come back to you guys with my profits so yeah alright guys so after 10 minutes uh, is that tradable? oh wow it is tradable um, so after 20 minutes of killing them uh, I decided not to do an hour because I'm going to do a different type of video with that later. Um, how much did I make? I made... Wow, this is fucking crazy. I made 216k in around 20 minutes. Um, my rate of kills definitely decreased in the second 10 minutes because it got pretty packed. Um, also, my efficiency in killing them because of my lack of setup that I have right now uh was lower um the better gear i get I'll, my profits will be even greater um so obviously you can make around 600 is probably 900k an hour uh which is pretty crazy that's that's a nice amount of money um so once i have my better gear i'm going to make a 1000 uh mature rockworm kill uh kill uh loot video um so yeah guys that's basically how you kill them uh just quickly bank um like i said you use the ring of kingship and you can go to the banker to the north uh so a quick recap they have two attack styles they have melee and mage um i suggest using i suggest fighting them close range um i also suggest fighting with food instead of prayer as i believe prayer is a waste of money um and i just think it's easier to kill them with food instead of using prayer just you bring super pots or something uh, I suggest 110 to 115 combat at least uh, to kill them somewhat efficiently. Um, even for me, they're a little hard to kill. Um, so I do suggest a higher combat level for these, uh, no doubt about it. Um, 
other than that guys yeah you basically saw everything this is kind of just a beginner's guide so once I know more about these I will definitely make a ultimate guide on these um, make it a lot better uh, so please comment rate and subscribe for the updated video and the 1000 kill video uh, to see the loot I get from them um, alright guys I hope you enjoyed this guide and I'll see you later peace out